Hello everyone and welcome back to another awesome, exciting, at-home edition of The Noble Way here. So we were at the Magic Kingdom the other day and we, and the confectionery was open and they had some really cool snacks, some new snacks in there that we want to try out. So we're going to try them out today. Are hanging out at our pad again today um, not because it's raining but it's a little chilly out today it's like 85 right now it's, it's it was chill. a little brisk it was cold this morning we went out is cold. I had to put on a jacket <laughs> it was a little chilly so um, but really it's not because it's cold either although it doesn't make me want to go outside did I say either instead of either I don't know but I think I said either all right, so as I said, we were at Magic Kingdom the other day and we had seen the confectionery. We had already been in there, so we were there on opening day for confectionery when they opened it. And we were going through there and I saw that they had some new snacks and they had a candy apple in there. They haven't had any candy apples in Disney Springs. I mean, since COVID, I feel like started, they haven't had any candy apples. I don't know if they got rid of them, what happened, but or maybe they just stopped carrying them. But they have the caramel apple and the caramel apple with nuts and some specialty chocolate apples and things like that at Goofy's Candy Company and the Candy Cauldron in uh, Disney Springs, but they haven't had the candy apple, and I've kind of missed it because I like the candy apple. And so- And he always says, I wish there was a candy apple. Yeah, so like, <laughs> um, when we went to, uh, when we were at Magic Kingdom the other day on opening day, I saw they had a candy apple, so I was like, I'm gonna have to get that, but it was too hot, and we were gonna be there a while, and I was like, oh, you know, I don't want to melt and everything, so we'll get it later, and then I forgot. And so, we were there the other day, and we were leaving, and I was like, let's go into the confectionery. So we went in there and I got a candy apple. So we're gonna give that a shot here. I'm gonna show it to you. But while we were in there, we also saw a bunch of other delicious looking snacks. Um, and I'll be honest, I did say, hey, is there any special 50th anniversary snacks in here? And they showed me a couple that looked a little dodgy. Like, I mean, they just didn't look like, I wasn't like super excited about the yeah. particular ones. Cause I feel like I'd already had a couple of them. And then the other ones were like, eh. They so, didn't have a lot of them available still. Yeah, like so I was she like, she would name them off, but they weren't actually there. She was like, we have this one, this one, and this one, and I was like, oh, they huh. have her nowhere to um, go. Cool. Um, I'll take those other things that have nothing to do with 50th anniversary. <coughs> uh, so, um, but I did ask for her recommendations. I said, what was? And she's like, these are the things that sell the most. So I was like, I'm gonna get those. So, I we got them today. So we're gonna go through three snacks. One of which I will start is the candy apple. Now, it, this has gummy lifesavers on it yeah. for some unknown reason, I don't know why, but. That looks like the best part of it, because I don't think, I'm not a candied apple kind of person. Yummy. Oh gosh, the smell. I don't know, it smells so good. So, uh, got this, looks good. Um, I'm glad it has the gummy lifesavers on it, because I like gummy lifesavers, but. This is gonna be the first one, so let's just, I'm just gonna, look at look at this, and it's like all over, like it's already like dripping everywhere, so. And it's been chilling in our nice air conditioned house. So, I'm gonna give it a go. I was a little concerned when I saw this in the store. Because when I saw it, if you look at this, on the outside, when you look kind of like really deeply into it, I thought there was gonna be a red apple underneath there. like. I get that the shell is red candied, ap uh, candied stuff, but like it's partially see-through and it looked red and I was like, oh man, I hope they didn't start using red apples because I like Granny Smith green apples. They're my favorite. I've said that multiple times. But I'm pleasantly surprised that I've been into this thing and look what's underneath. Hot. I mean, I don't know if it's actually Granny Smith or some other green apple, but it's a green apple that's sour and it's delicious. So. Oh my gosh, this thing is freaking awesome. I'm so glad they brought it back. It tastes like a sour green apple with cotton candy wrapped around it. So like you get like that really nice sour, bitter inside of the um, green apple. And then you get like this really sweet, delicious, dissolve in your mouth cotton candy flavor on top of that. It's so good. Now I'm not using my little trick to melt this stuff off yeah. of the outside because I think it would destroy it. Would be it. a mess. <laughs> um, but it's so good. 
I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take another bite, but I'm gonna do it off camera because I know it's annoying to hear someone <laughs> eat an apple out loud. But it is awesome. Um, let me do a little gummy here. But I'll take a gummy like scooper. Yeah, take one of those. Here. I feel like that was watermelon, so I don't want that one. <laughs> she doesn't like the watermelon. Take the green one. It's probably it's pretty green apple. Anyway, um, this. Hmm. Yeah. It's good. It's obviously, good. it's a gummy saver. <laughs> um, but this apple was only six forty nine for this candy apple. And I will tell you, the confectionery in Magic Kingdom, right on the corner, Main Street, as soon as you walk in, right on the right corner, they have lots of cool stuff there, like pop popcorn, it is really things you can create there. and everything. And they've redesigned it, and it's awesome. Um, also take annual pass discount. So yeah. we got, literally got 10%, 20%. Yeah. We got 20% off of our uh, of these three snacks. And that saved us like $2.30, so win-win. All right. Candy apple, two thumbs up. So glad it's back. Now I can, every time we go, I can get a candy apple and a caramel apple and have two things chilling in my house every day for me to potentially eat at some point. <laughs> okay. And then we have two other delicious treats. Let's do, which one do you want to do this one? Let's do this one. Well, I don't. This one. Let's do this one. one, this, one this, this one. All right. Here we go. Here we go. The suspense, I'm sure, is killing you. I mean, da, da, da. look at that beauty. I don't know, it's a peanut butter cookie with M&Ms and chocolate and I don't know what else, but. It smells good. As soon as I took it out of the package, I smelled the peanut butter and it smelled awesome. So I'm excited. Look at the size of this thing too. I mean, it's like almost as big as my head and it's thick. It's not like some chintzy little thin. I will say I've had many of their cookies um, like the Mickey shaped cookies and stuff, like the sugar cookies. I am a huge fan of sugar cookies. Like probably one of my favorite cookies, if not my favorite. And they're sugar cookies that just aren't, I, I, they're not my favorite. Um, so I'm glad they have this like other kinds of cookies now. Like this, I'm, I'm, let's just, we gotta, we gotta. I kinda wanna heat it up, I'm not going to, but I kinda wanna heat it up. Look at that, oh, that's good. I mean, it's just. All right, I'm just gonna take a bite. And this cookie was five dollars and forty-nine cents, so a little bit cheaper than the candy apple, five forty-nine, and then plus annual pass discount, twenty percent off. So we saved like a dollar off of this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good. I'm liking that. Yeah, me too. It's Thank really good. Um. It's got a decent peanut butter flavor. I could probably take a little bit more peanut flavor, peanut butter flavor, I'll be honest. Um, a little bit stronger, but I love peanut butter. Um, but there's like peanut butter chips in this thing. You can see them, look. Yeah, it's good. See that little chip right there? Um, and then these M&Ms. What kind of m and is this like a peanut? Peanut no, butter? No, I don't think so. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, good. peanut butter M&Ms for even more added peanut butter. Not peanut, peanut butter M&Ms. So those are good. The chocolate, little swirl on top, I don't really taste, but maybe just because of the M&M's. Yeah. But it's, it's like crispy, like on the outside. It's good. Very like crispy on the edges, but soft, very soft in the middle and not like doughy. It doesn't taste doughy. It tastes like good. Strong peanut butter flavor. I really dig the peanut butter M&M's on top. Chocolate is cool. I mean, I don't really notice it, but wow. That's really good for five dollars and forty nine cents, and it's humongous. And I like think we, it's better than a Gideon's peanut butter cookie. We're getting into that battle. No, I'm just saying, I can get this. <laughs> oh, you're gonna offend a lot of people now. <laughs> um, yeah, but didn't we like? We like crumbles, didn't we? Like crumbles, we liked crumbles, yeah, crumbles peanut butter cookie, good. better. That peanut butter crunch one, oh, yeah. that peanut brittle thing. That theirs was better definitely than Gideon's, but um, this was good. Yeah. This is really good. I like this a lot. Yeah, we're gonna eat a lot of the rest of this off camera. Um, she will. I'll eat my candy apple, it's fine. Okay, why don't you showcase this little beauty here? He got this one. I think it's brownie, isn't it? Yes, it's some sort of... Is it like a brownie cookie or is it a brownie? I don't know. I really only like brownies with like vanilla ice cream. No, it's a brownie. It's a brownie cookie. Yeah, yeah, it's, a it's like a brownie. Cookie. Brownie. It says brownie pie. 
So I don't know how this will be just no. like playing by itself, um, but we'll see. I feel like it I don't really smell that much cream. out of it, but I mean, oh, 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 look, look at that. It's bigger than her head. Okay, I'm, I'm exaggerating. It's not that big, but it's pretty big. Anyhow, uh, it has M&Ms in it too. I see them. There's like an M&M &M in there. See the little M&M chilling in there, hiding, a little blue. So. Let's take it, let's give it a shot. It said brownie pie with M&M's. Oh, so I'm excited. Oh, look, it's, little, it's like moist on the bottom. Look at that. I didn't realize there was M&M's in it. Ooh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be juicy. I mean, someone's gonna rip it up. Maybe it'll be better than I thought. Cut it. it. Has oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that in the middle. That looks, yeah. Okay, let's give it a shot. Right here, I'll give you a chunk. Whoa, it just fell apart there. Yum. We'll see. Hey. Did you eat the middle part? Yeah. Was it like ultra mush? Mushy. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. Um, yeah, I took a bite like in the middle and it was just like, almost tasted like uncooked. Yeah, it does. Um, I think it is cooked, I guess, mm -hmm. but it, it, it has the texture of uncooked. So I don't know that I love that, but let me check like the edge. Yeah, it's like the whole thing is mushy, so yeah. I think maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. What do you think of the flavor, though? Mm -hmm. I feel like I just taste sugar. There's some yeah, nuts in there. Chocolate. There's some nuts, so be careful, anybody who's allergic to nuts. I don't know what kind of nuts, but there is some nuts in there. I think it's really sugary, don't you? Mm -hmm. Like, I taste a lot of sugar. Like, that's my, mainly what I taste. Mm -hmm. What is in there? What is this in the middle? Is it M&M, &M, right? I'm sure. I don't know, the M&M in the middle. I don't know what it is, but I don't know if it's like caramel or what, but it's really mushy. Like even the M&M in the inside, yeah. I guess because it was cooked in there, it was like a mushy ball, like yeah. like a chewy, almost like a milk dud, like chewy. Um, it's not the best. <sighs> yeah, the I'm not surprised. The peanut butter cookie is way better. So if you go to Magic Kingdom, definitely get the peanut butter M&M cookie and don't get the brownie. Uh, I don't. I don't really dig it. No. I don't think it's very I won't good. Be eating that. <laughs> I don't like the texture of it. Yeah, I don't really dig it. Um, I don't like the texture. I don't like the texture of it. The flavor of it is not that great. Yeah. Does it taste chocolatey no, to you, it or just like sugary? Yeah, it doesn't really taste chocolatey. It tastes like sugary. Yeah. Um, and not even. It is. Yeah. Not even like a good. No. Right. It looks good it. though. What happened to it? I mean, it looks good. I got a little nug right there, but I don't really like anything about it. Nope. Um, I don't, it's like. And she said it's popular, that people Very popular. It. So I don't know if they just undercooked this. Like it's, it literally, I can't like look at it. It looks like, look at this. It's like turning into like mush in my hand. It's like Play-Doh. Play, it's like Play-Doh texture. Play-Doh, that's a good. Um, and then the M&Ms inside, no texture because they're like mush, so. Ah, that's a fail. And that one was $5.99, so Don't 50 cents fifty cents more than the peanut butter cookie. Um, the brownie one is. Hard pass. It's not good, yeah, it's, it's, it's not good. I, um, if you like the brownie cookie one, please let us know in the comments as to why. Maybe we just got a bad one. Because, yeah, it's, I'm not getting it. I'm, I'm missing something, and I think Maybe tell me if it's not cooked right, because that I would be interested to know if that was the reason. But it's not good. So, uh, peanut butter cookie with M and M's, awesome. Five forty nine, confectionery, Magic Kingdom, definitely go for it. And then this amazing candy apple. So far, I've only seen it in the confectionery. I even went back to Disney Springs yeah. after I got this a couple of days later to see. Or it wasn't a couple of days. It's been like a couple of days because I was there last night. And they didn't have them. So at least you can get them at the confectionery. Is awesome, love it. And that was uh, 6.49. So overall, those are the three snacks. Uh, it was all, all said and done, it was $16.69 for the three treats. And that's after the $2.30 we saved on the 20% off annual pass discount, which I don't think is bad. Um, it would have been better if one of these wasn't a complete waste, which yeah. would be going in the trash. I mean, look at that thing. That yeah. thing just looks like... 
but the other two things are awesome. So pretty good. So let's we're gonna continue chowing down on yeah. this. If you have any tracks, you, if you have any treats that you've seen online that you've seen other people eating, send them to us because I'd love to like give them a shot or hear about them and then kind of do like a review, um, especially for people who don't like live around here and maybe they're like, ooh, I'm planning a vacation and I'll be there in three weeks. I'm curious, is this gonna be any good? Should I, should I try it? Should I waste my money on it? Um, we can help you out. We'd love to, love to know. But definitely stop into the confectionery. There's so many cool things at the confectionery. The popcorn thing, the slushies, They've got all the, uh, the, the, the re-theme of it is so beautiful, yeah, it's awesome. There's more, I feel like there's more space to move around in there yeah. than there used to be. They've got a lot of great treats in there that I have not seen anywhere else. I didn't see any, it's like this cookie I've not seen at Disney Springs, I can tell you that right now. Um, so yeah, awesome. Thanks for joining us for another at-home special little <laughs> snack session. Uh, and we love hearing from you about other snacks you think we should try that we haven't. Um, and we'll see you on our next episode tomorrow. And subscribe, like, hit the <laughs> notifications. Um, bye, everybody, bye. in the noble way. It's the easy way.